Okay, so rosacea. We know rosacea fundamentally is a tendency genetically predisposed, but then lifestyle dictates how it's going to manifest the capacity to go red in the face or be a pink person. So if you do have rosacea, a flushing and blushing disorder, what are the do's and what are the don'ts? Let's focus on the don'ts first. Avoid scrubs, avoid anything foaming to wash your face in. This strips away the barrier function, increases sensitivity, very bad for you if you're a pink person. Avoid things that make you hot like steams, saunas, infrared saunas, yep. These babies are a lot worse for you than you actually realize. Hot yoga, Bikram, totally off the question. Alcohol, red wine, fun sun, being outside, any extreme temperatures, fundamentally anything that makes you go red in the face, avoid it like the plague, which will help you get stability over your condition. What should you do? Gentle cleansers, not scrubbing, not foaming, not stripping, like the DRNC cleanser that also has an anti-inflammatory in it, niacinamide, fantastic ingredient and my go-to for rosacea. Moisturize, preferably one that's also got niacinamide, 5% above, like both my moisturizers in the, in the range for stability function, uh, fortifying the barrier and reducing sensitivity. Sun protect, in fact, avoid the sun as much as possible because that's just gonna make your rosacea worse, but choose sunblocks that are mineral-based only with zinc and or titanium dioxide, plus or minus anti-inflammatory B3, a bit like the CCSBF30 cream. And then if you are looking for an exercise, choose one that you're not gonna be hot in, that's an ambient temperature, that's air conditioned like Pilates.